Hello everyone and welcome back to another Let's Play and this time around I am playing a very old game from the past which is pretty much known as Illusion of Time or to some of you um, it's known as Illusion of Gaia. Now this one is a long time favourite. I've um, played it since I was like ooh, I would say about 15 or 14 something like that and it's one of those games that's actually stuck with me and it's like one of these rare gems and such and yeah this game always takes me back to my younger youth and such like that but it also reminds me of um, how me and my sisters used to um, you know play with this game and such like that I mean one of them used to whistle like some of the tunes and such like that and then the other one would used to um, help me work out stuff and such but anyway let's get started shall we Man, are you feeling nostalgic vibes already? Right, let's go and start the journey. Oops, I'm pushing the wrong button here. It's alright, it's been a while since I've done this. Start from the beginning, naturally. Uh, woof, back when um, stereo was a thing. Uh, by the way, I apologise if the sound sounds a bit odd or something like that. Or even if the picture comes across as odd. I'm still trying to work out um, some of the bits and bobs here and there. Now obviously this has been told from the boy's perspective. Which is um, obviously his name is Will. Um, also I believe that this one was also made by Square Enix. I didn't actually quite read at the beginning. In, I'm pretty sure it was one of um, Square's um, maids or something like that. I had to look that one up actually. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure it may have said it at the beginning or something like that. But it's one, put it this way, it's one of these hidden gems that I wish that they would actually put up on Steam or something like that, you know. They don't need to, well, I'll say make a HD release of it, yeah, but they don't need to do too much of it. Just leave it as it is or just do a few touch ups here and there to make it more HD like. Yeah, just a few little things here and there, but nothing too major. That's all for today's lesson. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, actually. Well. I don't think that's going to be the kind of thing that um, your character does at some point. Because <laughs> 9 out of 10 he's probably a lone Trevor. Well, I say probably, I know that he's going to be a lone traveller anyway, because um, I just try not to spoil too much of this, but it's pointless to me saying that, because otherwise I may end up spoiling it regardless. Nope, there's one button. Ah. I call ways the cave at the seashore. Oh, well, that's a hint. Oh. Oh, shines brightly through turn. Okay, thank you. So which way do I go? Do I go up here? Oh, okay. I found a safe spot. <laughs> oh, hello there. So you're Gaia, eh? Oh, of course, yeah. The source of all life, naturally. Oh, I know you. You're like the... Um, funny, you're the same name as uh, Planet Earth. <laughs> yeah, for those of you... Well, I'm pretty sure most of you already know this, that most people call, like the earth or the spirit of earth and earth pretty much uh, um, Gaia and such like that um, I do believe I'm trying to think where that actually came from now I'm trying to think I need to actually look it up because otherwise I may mess it up but the good thing about this game is that it has plenty of save spots and it makes it easy for you to save so if you ever fancy saves coming like I do then you're more than welcome to do it wait there was someone there to talk to how careless of me Oh, Will, how many times have I told you not to come up here? You have a habit of jumping down from places where I guess I can't really stop you. Oh, is that a hint for me to jump? Can I jump? Oh, actually, which is the run button here? Oh, let's see, I think. So, you're not equipped. Of course I'm not, I'm, of course I'm not equipped. So, that's the spin my thing. So, I can jump me down this side. Wee! There you go. So, what's occurring? 
You look like a fast runner to run. Push the control pad twice. Oh, of course, that's what I've been doing wrong. We I can run. See, I can run. See, at least this game teaches you how to run and such like that. And it gives you kind of like a teaching of like, you can jump to, from high places and such like that. Oops, one thing. Dual gym control, the seven C's. What's your business? Just wanted to see you. Give you a red jewel. See your infantry. Um, I don't have anything, so... How do you do? Uh, once you hold up the red jewels, you have to come run him to my place. Okay, easy enough. I'm the famous master of the disguises. If you see me in another town, you wouldn't know me. Of course. I'll just bear that in mind. Hey, what's going? I feel sorry for Sif. Oh? I understand why he hates to see his parents fighting every day. Ah, oh, shit. I also like the fact that they actually done sort of like the um, sprite effects for the wind and such. That's actually kind of... I only just noticed it just now. I mean, especially for its time... Whoa! What? No sooner was the door to Seth's house open than a jar came flying out. Well, Christ almighty. So, you guys fighting again? Can't you just talk and make nice? What's wrong with having a little fun with my hard-earned money? Okay. It's no joke, that man. I'll put up with it for Seth's sake, but... If it weren't for him, I have left a long time ago. Okay. So, um... Let me guess. He's blown his money... On, I don't know, drinking or something like that. And you're pretty missed off, and yeah, I get you. So, what have you got to say for yourselves? You're an astronomer. You look like the guy that was on the roof. Um, oh, my astronomer friend said something very strange. A star is approaching the Earth. Oh. This is Lance's house. He lives here with his frail mother. Ah. She doesn't look that frail to me. Excuse me. Your father has been lost at the Tower of Babel for a year now. It seems like only yesterday. Yeah. I never knew my father. Oh, of course I did. Oh, wait, hold on. Can you move certain objects? Yeah, usually when you spin that stick around, you can actually move certain objects to pull them towards you and that, but I don't think you can do that here. Yeah, I'm just rediscovering all the controls again and such. So it's taken me a little while to get used to it. So, um, my friend Eric lives here. I'm probably not saying that right. This is the biggest house in the South Cape. We'll even be ugh, people born own to rich families. Okay. So you're meant to be rich. Okay. It's the little things in life that make you rich or poor. Well, heard of any good stories? Um, have you tried reading some of mine? Mine are pretty much awesome when I don't uh, mess up on my writing. Hey, what's occurring? Everyone is jealous of this big house. Yeah, I'm jealous. I want a big house. It's nothing. We moved to this town before anyone else. Okay, okay. Chill. Chill your beans, you know. It's cool. It's cool. So what? you got a lot of wealth behind you. That's cool. You, you, you worked hard for it. You know, you deserve it. Hey, what's occurring? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not on fire. It's just a treatment for my sore body. Really? That looks painful. Cleaning this big house all day makes my brain ache. So, oh, one of those bowl things for, to clear your head, eh? Yeah, that's a good idea. It's good for coughs and colds. I know he, uh, here some of you give it no shit, Sherlock. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once I caught a fish of life. Um, I probably fucked up on that. It's strange this game is like red light. <laughs> <No. laughs> oh, right. So that's what they're playing. How long have we been playing this? Um, I don't know. You tell me. You've been up here. I just realised that seagull was flying out on its side. I do appreciate your, um, you know, gems like this and that. Oh, I've got one of those nasty itches. I wonder if that's the place where I need to go at some point. I'm trying to think. So, so they said cave at the thing, that leads to the church slash school. What's going on? I travel around to people's houses, sell weapons used to fight demons. We may live in troubled times, but I won't sell a weapon to a child. 
Who are you calling a child punk? Hey, can I get out of my way or what? What's going? This is my house. The, the pie that Grandma Lola is making smells really great. I'm getting better at my reading, I swear I am. Welcome to Will's house. Next time when they say fire at Will, don't, just please don't fire at Will. <laughs> Welcome home. And Will, dinner isn't ready yet. Go outside and play for a while. But I don't want to. The fresh air kills me. Actually, fresh air is good for you, so please don't spend all the time inside. Even though this is the sort of like the era and such where we're all on, like, online or playing computer games, it. but remember to get some fresh air. Why am I lecturing? You all know this. But anyway, I'm worried there's been a lot of strange merchants lately doing business. Oh, I. I travel around to people's houses sending weapons used to fight demons. Really? You said the same. Wait, I sent another one like you, or you're the same guy. What's going? Hey, what's going, Pop Man? Mmm, nice smell. There's no stove, so I'm cooking in this pot. Yeah, but how are you cooking that pot? Is there a fire underneath there? What if the place catches on fire? Good God. Is there no safety? That's the castle wind, I'll take it. Why are you blocking my path? Fine. Do you want to talk? Hold it. Many demons are prowling around outside the town. Oh, okay. I didn't read that last part. Alright. Didn't your teacher warn you not to leave town without your parents? I seem to forgot about that part. But do tell. And plus my grandma's a pretty frail thing, so... Yeah. So, what's occurring? Gosh, can't pull it up. Really? Must be a big fish. So, what's in here? Oh, cool, Seaside Cave. It was natural for the four friends to call this Seaside Cave their second home. Usually when lessons were done at the school, they gathered there to talk and play games until sundown. Oh, kind of like a hideout thing. That's actually pretty cool. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, doesn't this face do anything? No? But it was. Okay. Ah ha ha, I'm going to win again for sure. What are you playing? Poker? But what is it? Well, I'm, it's late. I'm playing cards with Seth. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Suddenly, Eric rushed in with a dis... Whoop, I didn't get to read all that. Ah, news. Big news. Go on. The Princess of Edward Castle has won away. Really? Name one princess that doesn't run away. They say she came up to South Cape. That's all. You came in in such a hurry that I thought something really big had happened. The princess is probably that small girl, Kara, the one you liked so much. Uh, maybe the soldiers will come here looking for her. The soldiers of Fort Medward Castle look so cool. I want to steal a helmet. I want to steal a helmet. Fuck! <laughs> I just <laughs> Okay, I'm bad at my reading now, I'll take that back. Everyone's here, what should we do today? I don't know, what do you think we should do? I want to see Will's mysterious powers. Uh, mysterious power? Yeah. You haven't seen it? He can move things without touching them. Yeah, it's called the false. He moved that statue that's in the corner of the cave. Will, show me again. Fine. You're not equipped, of course. Here you go, I moved it. So what now? If only I could do that. You don't have the midichlorians for it. Next, pick up a card, any card. Okay. I put four cards face down. Pick the one you think is the Ace of Diamonds. Okay. So I have to play the guessing game, do I? Which one is it now? Ace of Diamonds, Ace of Diamonds. I'm uh, probably going to get this wrong. Pick one you think is the Ace of Diamonds. Okay. Okay, okay. Eeny, me, money, no. Catch a cat by its tail. I choose. Somebody tells me it's the third one. Wow. Wait, are all the cards say Ace of Diamonds? Hey, Seth, is this some type of um, physics power, right? Yeah, it must be some kind of uh, psychic power thing. Physic power. <laughs> so I meant to say psychic. I, I, I can read. I really can. 
If I didn't know better, I think it was magic. Most people will have five senses sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. I think Will's psychic power is some kind of sixth sense. Well, some humans are naturally do have a sixth sense, but they've just forgotten how to use it. That's what I believe. Because if you take animals, for example, they can actually um, have a sixth sense to sense certain things like in the distance and such like that. Yes, it's heightened by the hearing, the smell and such, but they do have a sort of like some sort of sixth sense. And I reckon that we humans used to have that at one point, but we've just forgotten how to use it. I'm not talking about like things like, oh yeah, we have to move things without touching them in that. I mean, that'd be incredible if we could, but you know, anyway, I'm going on too much. What Sis says is too complicated for me to understand. Now, we all understand it. Seth, let's play one more, more game. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just, you know, one more game with Seth and now I'm going home. Okay. If only if I could do that. Okay, you're saying the same thing. Okay, 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 okay. What about you? What are you going to say? Oh, you say that again. Okay. I guess it's time for me to go. Oh! Oh shit, I didn't read that part. Bugger. Wait, has the weather changed? I mean, not weather, the um, sun gone down or something? Yeah, it has. That's another cool feature for the ga um, games back in New Zealand. Do we um, had, um, you know, like the sundowns and such like that? What are you doing at my house? Buzz off. What? Wait, there's a pig here? The pig's wrecking the room. Oi, don't wreck the room! But why is there a pig in my house? Look, I know pigs are clean and intelligent, but can you miss? Oink oink. Yeah, buzz off. You better not poop everywhere. I swear. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, squeak, squeaky, squeak, squeaking. Abby, you shouldn't snort at strangers. I'm not a stranger, I live here. Is this your house? Yes. So? Frankly, you look a little shabby. Well, I'm sorry. Well, excuse me, princess. Come on, I wasn't going to resist that one. Your father? Mother? Not here, huh? Um, Is this a picture of your parents? What are you doing in my house in the first place? My father's an explorer. He... I know, old man. And the explorer, they say he was lost. He come back Sunday. Are you sure? No. Oh, are you sad? <clears throat> I'll be sad if it were me. I'm sorry. Anyway, is there a piano here? Do I look rich? No, there isn't. But Grandma Lola is a great singer. They are singing upstairs now. They have such loud voices. You're singing. Welcome home, Will. When I sing opera, I lose track of the time. Dinner is not ready yet. Really? Oh my, I haven't sung like this in a long time. Your grandmother Lola used to be a singer. I've been in love with her, her voice, that's why I married her. Ah ha ha ha, oh you're bringing up that thing like that? Will, you shouldn't be surprised to hear that. The girl who was singing with me a minute ago... What? No! A scream from downstairs. Let me guess. Is that girl screaming? Oh, let's go and investigate. Oh. Well now. Princess, I've been looking for you. Well, figures. I mean, her name's Kara, after all, and, you know, Princess. Yeah. I don't know you, be gone. What are you saying? If, and if I don't take you home, I'll lose my head. Damn, what is this person? The, qu the Queen of Hearts sank? Oh, I've their heads! What do, what do I care if you lose your head? That sounds selfish. Princess, do you think I have nothing better to do than to chase you down? I must take you home. It's the king's orders. Well, off they go. They're just dragging her away. Bye, her I'm sorry I lied to you. I'm King Edward's daughter, Kara. Well, I figured that from the name. Well, I feel as though we've been met before, as if we were good friends. Wait, what? Are you talking about some destiny or something?
So, um... So that girl likes to play <laughs> practical jokes. <laughs> yeah. Edward's Castle, there's a big uh, vindict under the... Oh, your grandfather designed it. What? Really? Oh, shoot. There's a prison under the castle. It's built like a maze to keep the prisoners from escaping. I feel bad that I built a prison where people disappear and are never heard from again. Enough serious talk. Let's eat dinner. I made a delicious pie. Let's sit at the table upstairs. Sure. And before anybody says, that's weird. I'm used to sitting at tables upstairs, so don't worry. I do it so in my <laughs> room most of the times anyway. <laughs> We sat down t um, t to a feast of snail pie with <laughs> whipped cream. Wow, snail pie. Sounds nice. I only got one piece, but Grandma uh, Bill ate the half of the pie. That night, Will dreamt, about, dreamt that Kara and he took a trip around the world. That sounds like um, destiny to me. Or, as they call it, a premonition. And the next morning, something began to happen. So, what's occurring? I had more snail pie for breakfast. I left you a slice. Good morning, Will. A letter for us come from you from King Edward. This is what is written in the letter. Bring the crystal ring from old men's things to Edward's castle, King Edward. I've been in a bad mood ever since I saw this letter. Oh, Will, I teach you a spell when I am upset. Humming this tune makes me feel better. Lola hum the strange melody. That's pretty. Even though Will had never heard it before, it seemed oddly familiar. So I was going with the text. I have no way of speeding up the text. Oh wait, hold on, the melody thing is um, important because you can play those melodies through that flute. That's what the thing on his back is, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's a flute. Also, I'm not sure if I'm going to go through reading all the, through the whole thing, but I'll do my best to. <laughs> I can feel my throat getting dry. <laughs> that's a sign I'll probably need a drink. So, anyway, actually, what well, about it? Just bear me two ticks. Yeah, wall number one. Whenever you're doing um, anything like this, just make sure to have plenty of water with you. Or something. Right, back to action. Get. Fine. Where's this castle then? Whoa, whoa wait a minute. It's the castle in... No, it's got to be... Um, it won't be in this town, would it? Hey, get out of the way. King of Edward has summoned you to the castle. Well, just be careful. Well, thank you. I'm glad that you're letting me by. And this, my friends, is the world map. Now, I've got to say, I do love the music to this and such. It's really quite nice and relaxing. Let's go to Edward's castle. I'm on an adventure to the castle where I'll probably end up in more trouble. Actually, I can't remember all of these things that happens in this game. I only can remember little fragments. It's been so long since I played it. Edward's Castle. What a posh place. Hello, you two. You gonna escort me? This is King Edward's Castle. I must be put this intrusion. Intrusion? I showed a letter to the guard. A guest of the king. I'm sorry, you may pass. Seriously, such strictness. So much where do I go? Hey, the big guy. King of is having a breakfast. Wait a while, then enter. Fine. What's in here? Hello there. Recently, a hunter was hired. I wonder what the king was thinking. Um, maybe he just wanted to hunt something, perhaps. I like the fact that you can see what goes up and what goes down. You've got the upstairs, because you can tell by the little um, 
the little um, steps that you can see there that it leads up, then you've got the ones that lead down. Well, what do I check up first? Hello there. So you're Will, you were summoned by King Edward. Be careful when you meet with him. Huh? Hello there. Oi, I love you. Who, me? I'm a bit young for you. Oh, wait, you're talking to the maid. My bad. Well, he's shy. I'm glad that somewhere, somewhere in the world there's someone who is thinking on me. Oh. Hello there. This is the princess's room. Strangers can't enter. Oh, uh, well. Who is it? I am no stranger. I believe that we became acquainted. Because considering that she went into my house, I guessed. This is just a shabby boy. Who are you calling shabby? It's me, Kira. Kara? Fuck! Oh, that voice. Let him in, or I'll tell everyone your nickname. Oh, pardon me. Please enter. Yeah, that's right. Where is his old nickname? You, yesterday. Yeah, what about me? I was told to bring the crystal ring to King Edward. Terrible, it's terrible. Why? Again, my father is trying to take something important from someone. I've escaped from the castle before and now they won't let me out. Recently, something very strange has happened in the castle. My mother has hired a famous hunter. It is a minius. Let's go, the soldier says. I feel scared. My father and mother seem to have changed. Please save me. Take me out of here, please. Princess? Please come back, Will. Um... I don't know what that was all about, but still. And my acting is terrible. Yes. Even my reading is. <laughs> Look. Give me a break, right? <laughs> to those who are giving me a break, thank you. <laughs> um, so where's this lead to, boss? <laughs> This is the underground prison. Innocent people can't enter. I ain't innocent, you know. I could be a, I could be a thug. Oh, okay, fuck you then. Um, anyway. <clears throat> oh, you moved. So, what do you have to say? The interview room is before you. Climb the stairs to meet the king. So, your will. Sorry to have kept you... Waiting, let's go see King Edward. Okay. If you want to see the king, keep your wits about you. What do you say? If you want to see. Oh, I see, you've got the same. What do you say? Um, the king sent you to the. Oh, the king sent you the letter. Talk to him. Oh, okay. They want to talk to me. Hello there. Your will. You look so shabby, so I've been told. Well, did you bring the crystal ring? Uh, ring. How dare you say such a thing to me? Guards, throw this impudent weasel in the prison. Wait, just because I didn't bring the fucking ring? Well, fuck you, your highness, you piece of shit. Then go to Will's house and find the ring. Wow, you're a very, very barbaric person. Ma'am, save me. Did you say ma'am? Well, of course I said ma'am. I'm asking someone to save my life. I might have my head chopped off. Yeesh. I'm in a prison. It seems to be a thing with me. Prison break. It seems to always be a thing. I wonder why I have to suffer so. I wonder what will become of me now. Anyway, I have to think of a way to get out of here. Yeah, it would appear that prison break seems to be my big thing. Actually... That's the pause. So I'm trying to figure out what to get in the infiltrary. I guess I can't access it until... Oh, wait, I found it. So you've got items. Now I know how to access items. It's slit. La, da, 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 da. What am I supposed to do here? Can't open this door, can I? No. It's locked. Typical. So, um... I need to imagine who else has been here. Someone was chained to this ball. Poor bastard must have sawed his leg off or something. 
So, anything I can do here? No, just wander about. La -de -la -da. So, anyone want to play a game of um, 20 questions? No? When do I get out of here? This must have seen thousands of prisoners come and go. I bet you could tell a lot of stories. Those prisoners must have been encouraged by any sign of life. Okay. <sighs> so how the hell do I get out of here? La -de -da -da -da. No, do I not do anything? Can I move that ball? No. A sort of whispers comes from the hole in the, in the ceiling. Oh, hello there. It's today's ration of bread. Even moss drinks water. Oh, oh thank you. That's, we'll taste some of the bread. The bread is hard. It is the worst thing he has ever tasted. For some reason, he really misses Grandma's Lola's creative cuisine. Yes, I dare say so. Snail pie sounds pretty delish compared to the stale bread that we have. I mean, in fact, is that on our items list? No. Thank goodness for that. So, it's not on our items list. Time passes slowly, but the long day is ending. <sighs> Will I ever be out? It pains me to think of the prisoners' feelings, not knowing what they should do. While I was trying to think of my way out, I drifted off to sleep. How can you sleep in something like that? I mean, there's no bed in there, just a hard floor. A familiar voice speaks on the flute. Will, this is your father. Dad? Where are you? You were a cute child, but now you've grown up. Isn't Grandma Lola's pie delicious? Uh, sure, Dad. Where are you? I can't tell you now. I have something to ask of you. Listen. Well, you've got a choice. you got yes, if it's your wish, or no, you deserted me, but I'm going to go with yes. I want you to save me. I too was once held in a cell like this. Look at the left-hand wall. Okay. What is that? This? Have you heard anything from Grandpa, Bill? Grandpa? He was an architect. Your Grandpa knows the secret of that stone. Secret? Starting now, you will encounter a terrible thing. Do I have to... Pick up the stone. Your enemy left. The power of the crystal is contained there. That power will prove to be your ally. You must make a pilgrimage to the ruins of the world to find the mysterious statues. The closer you get to the crystal, the stronger the evil power will be. Will, no time. Quickly, first, the Incan ruins. The flute's voice fades and disappears. Okay, so my father spoke to me through the flute. Okay. Wink, wink. Hello? Hello, hey little piggy. Come to visit me. It's locked. So. I wonder if this is Kara's pig. What luck. There is a letter and a key tied to its tail. The letter read. Sorry to hear that you're in prison. It's a terrible... Oh, it's terrible what my father's done. But hear what I have to say. I too am a prisoner in a prison of silk and gold, but tonight I will leave the castle forever. You will also be free, Kara. Okay. Well, I guess she ain't so bad after all. You have the key. Thank you. Can I get out of here? Let me out. It's locked. Wait, hold on. I wasn't finished. Right, let's see if this works. As he turns the prison key, the steel door opens with a dull sound. Oh, I've forgotten! Right, 
now I get you. So you go to the select thing, select the whole thing, you push the interaction button, and oh, I get you now. I get you, I get you, I get you. And then once that's selected, you softly play the melody from. Yeah, that's how it works. Now I get it. <coughs> Makes sense. Well, I better just quit that key. So I'll go with that. Go with items. That, that, that. And then go and unlock this door. Right. Damn, what are you in here for? I don't need anyone's help. I can get up myself. Okay. <coughs> oh, doing the old man's voice. Really <laughs> done number on my throat. <laughs> oh. Right. Yep, we know what you are. Uh. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, now I get you. Yeah, can I can you recall for me? Finish recording, thank you. Do you want to continue your journey? Yes, then go. Wow, so so forward with the whole thing. The music in this is pretty cool as well. Gotta say that. It's a little bit quiet in here. Let's get the heck out of here. Barrels. Anything interesting? Can I do something? Okay. Ah, now I can use my thing. Yeah, take that Mr. Bat. Oh, it's all coming back to me now. Oh, got a heart. Your HP power has increased. Excellent. When you defeat all the enemies around you, uh, a jewel will appear. Oh, so it's like a reward for defeating every single enemy in the dungeon. Also, the music to this is actually pretty cool. So I know I said that already, but I'm starting to um, re-remember it all. Underground tunnel. Oh wait, this is the one that me and uh, sister used to whistle to at some point. Yeah, we used to give it. Um, I'm not gonna whistle because I'll deafen your ears out. But we used to give it, whistle to the um, one of the parts where it gives it do 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 do. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's mostly my older sister that used to do that. I thought I saw some bony head. What the hell was in this dungeon? Why is it dungeons crawling with monsters and such? Seriously, what does a king keep in his castle? That's one back then. What the hell was that that fired at me? Oh, it was an eyeball thing. Whoa! I'll tell you to show yourself again. Come on. Come on, you bony. Ooh. Oh, well, that's actually handy. Wait. Oh, hey. So I'm trying to defeat all the monsters in this thing so that I can actually um, get the extra life thing. Because it will help in the end. Wait, does that tell me how many? Oh no, that's how. Um, I was looking at the number count, but I just realised that was how many crystals I collected. Come on, before we freaking shoot another thing. That's 19. All right, what's down here? Anything? Nope. Ah, there you are. I've got to say, the sprites in this is really good. I'm not going to lie there. Even how they've done the like little torches and such like that. Uh oh. Wait a bit. I was wondering if I could actually deflect that. I'll probably try that another no actually. Come on then. Nope, that blocks. Aha! I found the block. Come on then. You want some of this? What the hell did I just collect? The strength strength has increased. Can I take a dive in it? No, I can't. But it has to be filled, another door. So, you have to defeat all the enemies to get yourself out of a dungeon. Makes sense. I like that. That's a good mechanic to have. Come on, you. It's actually pretty simple to actually do this and that. It's not so difficult. What the hell was that? Hey, what the hell was I? Yeah. Whoa, I think it... No, it didn't. What he did. Oh! Hey, what are you doing? Oh, you're. I didn't realize he was alive. I didn't mean to hit you. You got in the way of fire. 
Hey, what are you doing? Oh, you get, get out of the way then. Then you won't actually get it. Where the hell are you? Wait, are you monsters? No, you're not. <coughs> Excuse me. That was a good block, actually. I'm impressed with myself. Wait, wait, let's see if I can get this. There we go. He's no so unturned. Literally. Ooh. This is actually pretty fun. I'm actually enjoying this. Oh, fuck. Alright, that's the first hit. I'll let you have that. La 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 la. Oh, shit. That wasn't meant to happen. Get lost. Oh, it's a switch. Whoops. You one-eyed thing that looks like something that, that I don't want to actually even say. Whoa! I take that. Ooh. Whoop! Do you. Come on in. Service help. Even better. Your defense has increased. Before I leave, I need to see what else lies here. Someone tells me there's secrets around here. And I'd like to. Aha! I was right. You found a herb. Hey, that's handy to me. Yes, I am getting such old nostalgic vibes playing this, and I'm enjoying it. Okay, which one of you wants to come out? Come on in, service. How? That was my mistake, because I was pushing the wrong button. Whoa! I forgot about the blue traps! Son of a... Well... Of course, it's a dungeon. Of course it will have booby traps. Watch me! Ooh, I'm gonna kill you. Block my path. Die! Do, 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 do. Now, nah, where's the herb? Herb, 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 herb. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, use that. Take the medicine, yes. I have to get some more herbs at this rate. <laughs> it won't go in. Maybe it's rusty. You're not equipped. Of course I'm not equipped. Let's get out of here. Okay. Come on. That's one. Yeah, note to oneself, do not take this game lightly. Oh wait, I know what to do. Hello, what do you need to? I will talk to you in a bit. You found a red jewel. Okay, what are you? Talk to me. When you defeat the enemies, is a shiny silver dark gem will appear. If you collect a hundred of these, you'll gain one life. Even if you are defeated, you won't have to go back very far. Thank you, Mr. Flame. Actually, I think that's meant to be a soul with memory serves. Now, I will say, this game is not all that difficult, but it can be quite challenging with its p puzzles. Son of Puzzle fatty. You, you son of a... Come on, Ed. HP 
battery power has increased. Oh, good. Oh, good, that charged me up. What is that? Definitely. Feed Bob. Because that does nothing. Oh, whoops. Wait. Flower in the corner, try playing the flute. Oh! So that's what um, Grandma's melody is all about. Okay, easy enough. He softly played the melody he had learned from Lola. Even the animation there is pretty cool, Swill. He heard a soft voice from somewhere. Strange voice. Go to the switch on the right hand wall. Okay. The door won't open unless you push this switch on the count of three. When I shout push the switch, I'll count one, two, three. Don't make a mistake. Okay. One. Two. Three. Stop, the door is open. Go in. Outstanding. Wait, I didn't actually talk back to the... Never mind. I probably will discover that, yeah. Give it to you. Bloody bonehead. Get lost. Oh, got two for one bit. No, I give it to you. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to go back and talk to that plant. I can't remember. Yeah, it takes care of that. Hold the phone. I can run all the way back. Okay. The flower in the corner, try playing for. Yeah. In that case, I'd best leave it to be. Otherwise, it'd be repeating the same thing. Okay, so I need a way to get to that switch to. I'll figure it out. I'm good at figuring out puzzles. Great, that's about four, 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 four. Okay. Don't be afraid to take any hits, because, you know, it's one of those things. Oh, goodbye. Ooh, a door. Woof. Ah. Ah. Now, this. Now, you uh, you may be wondering what that satchel is about. Well, this will allow you to transform into that figure. You get about two in total, but... Um, I'm not going to show you this now because I'm going to actually call it a night from here. But I hope you all enjoyed what I've. Um... Oh, I forgot this thing actually um, heals you as well. That's handy, Harry. Right, let's go and recall this. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed what I've done so far. And I look forward to doing more of you. Until next time, y'all. You all take it easy. And. Peace out. <laughs>